Have you ever seen any factory manufacturing a product without producing waste? At the same time, have you ever seen any kitchen where the food is prepared without producing any waste substances? Let us go in detail. Let us see about the living organisms. Living organisms need energy for their survival and to perform activities either building up of body material or its breakdown. It refers that either the living organisms build any substance or synthesize any substance or it may break down the complex substances into simpler ones. All these processes collectively are called as metabolic activities. Different products are generated as a result of these metabolic activities. Let us see for example, as a result of photosynthesis in plants, glucose and oxygen are produced. At the same time, as a result of respiration, the heat and carbon dioxide is formed. And as a result of digestion, several substances like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, glycerol, feces, etc. are formed. Are all these substances useful for organisms? Let us see. The glucose and carbon dioxide which are formed as a result of photosynthesis may be utilized by the plant once again because the glucose is the energy, it is energy source for the plant. Hence, it utilizes glucose for its growth and development. But the thing is that the oxygen is utilized by the plant. Some amount of oxygen is utilized by the plant but maximum amount of oxygen is released out into the atmosphere. At the same time, the heat which is released by the process of respiration, it will be utilized by the body. The energy which is released by the process of respiration will be utilized for the body activities. But the carbon dioxide which is released as a byproduct of a, um, respiration, it will not be utilized by the body. It will be released out into, into the atmosphere. At the same time, the resultant substances like glucose, amino acids and fatty acids will be utilized by the body for its growth and development. But feces, they will not be any more useful for the living organisms. So, all these substances like oxygen, carbon dioxide and feces, oxygen in the case of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide in the case of uh, respiration, whereas feces in the case of digestion, are considered as waste substances and have to be released out as they may harm the organisms. So these are just examples. There are several nitrogenous substances are being formed by different metabolic activities in the body of a living organism. What is the solution? These waste substances have to be excreted. The separation and removal of waste and non-useful substances from the body is called as excretion.